just one. People are apologizing and making excuses. What are their excuses? Listen and check. Uh, correct, the correct picture. Right. I don't know how do you say palomita. <laughs> check. How do you say palomita? It's a check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's an it's check. The correct picture. Excellent. So here we go with yeah. different pictures, right? You have the example. In this example, you can see uh, option A is a car crash, and option B is a person in the traffic, right? On option two, what do you see on number two? Karen. Maybe um, two friends in a in a emergency room, maybe mm -hmm. in a hospital. Mm -hmm. She has an accident accident in her hand. I don't know. She has an accident in her hand. Has every day. No, she had sorry. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also, you continue. and also in the another picture. Oh, uh, oh, 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 in the what? In the other picture. Okay, much better. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there are uh, maybe two friends and one of there. <laughs> mm -hmm. One uh, of who? One of she. <laughs> Mm. What is the person well, no. for plural people? They, sorry. They. And for secondary person? They. Ooh. Karen, Karen, Karen. Here. What are you doing? Sorry. Object problems. Here we go, eh? Look at this. Them. The object pronoun? Aha. Uh -huh. uh, sorry, yes. There is a possessive. Okay. When, they be, when the word ends in R, usually it is a possessive. Their house. Our house. Your house. You see? Okay. Okay, yes. Good. So. Them. All right. Letter B. One of them mm -hmm. uh, got her her finger mm -hmm. uh, with a <laughs> and that's it. With a what? With a knife. Yes. 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 How do you say? Okay, I like the second one. I like the expression letter B. But what about letter A? How do you say lastimar in English? Hurt. Yep. So what happened to her? Um, she hurt her hand. Perfect. Good job. That's what she had. No, she had an accident in her hand. Okay. She Makes make sense. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Um, yeah. let's go now with rocks. What do you see in number three? Maybe a boy is looking for a direction. Mm -hmm. mm, looking for a direction. That's Spanglish. How do you call a... How uh, do you say direction? Location. Uh, address. Ah, okay. One more time. What is the boy maybe doing? He's looking for an address. Mm -hmm. Okay. Much better. And letter B? Um, is a boy is doing his homework okay perfect good job very nice rocks the last one yes what do you see in picture number four picture number four the the a and the a option mm -hmm. i see two two people they are screaming or um, what they are looking for 
a cat, I think that eh, they are owners mm -hmm. of the kitty. Mm -hmm. Question, I think. option A or A option? Option, no, A option. Six, option A. Ah, uh, option A. Yeah, because this is option is not a description. Mm, yes. Only switch words when you are talking about a description, an adjective, mm -hmm. not a, a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let mm, it be. Let it be. I think that the, the woman is going to go to work, but the car is broken or mm, nice. we have issue mechanics. Issue mechanics. Mechanics is a, a description. Issue. Have a mechanic issues. Much better. Think, mechanic issues, plural or singular? Maybe it has it has a mechanic issue. Oh, much better. Mm -hmm. That's it. Excellent. Good, good job. Girls, listen to the audio and mark the correct answer. What are their excuses? One, two, three, action. One. Hi, Linda. I'm so sorry I'm late. You're really late. You were supposed to be here over an hour ago. What happened? There was heavy traffic on the freeway, and I couldn't call because my cell phone died. That's weird. There isn't usually any traffic at this time of day. I know, but there was a really bad accident on the freeway about 10 miles north of here. Traffic was completely stopped for over an hour. Hmm, that's very unusual. Two. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. But it's due today. I know. I feel terrible about it. What happened? My roommate burned her hand while she was cooking last night, and I had to take her to the emergency room. We were there all night. No wonder you look so tired. Is she okay? Her hand is burned pretty badly, but she'll be all right. Three. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? but I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Four. Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. The meeting was supposed to start half an hour ago. I know. I apologize. My car broke down and I had to wait for a tow truck. Again? Didn't your car break down last week, too? Um, yeah, it did. It's a really old car. And the week before that, you were late because you were helping someone look for their lost cat. I'm sorry. I promise I'll be on time for next week's meeting. There's a lot of vocabulary in the second one, in the first one. Let's see how much you got. All right, let's begin with who can start. No, send me your, your answers first through the chat, everyone. I guess he has two, three, and four, okay. You didn't catch the first one, right? What, mister? Oh, no, the first one is the exercise, the, the example. I'm sorry, yes, don't worry. Okay. B, A, A, okay, good. Perfect, girls, thank you very much. So let's begin with the first one, which is the traffic jam, right? Tell me, transcription. What do you say, Karen?
what did what was the excuse the person gave for the first for yeah. the one number one okay mm, about the traffic a lot of traffic and some one accident and, and he some... has uh -huh. complete idea and um and there are there was an accident ah, much better there was an accident continue and for this reason um uh, is the traffic for this or reason was, is the traffic. was the traffic sorry <laughs> for this reason there was traffic there was okay for the mm -hmm. reason there was the traffic and I just remember some, just something like that. All right, perfect. Let's listen to the audio again and let's transcribe the, what's the name? The excuse, okay? Let's go. One. Hi, Linda. I'm so sorry I'm late. You're really late. You were supposed to be here over an hour ago. What happened? There was heavy traffic on the freeway, and I couldn't call because my cell phone died. Action. What was his excuse? Uh, he said, I'm um, so sorry. So he said, he, you were so sorry? No, sorry. He was, he was so sorry. <laughs> Excellent. Why? So there was heavy traffic. And he cell phone died. Mm. <laughs> what cell phone again? Cell phone died. But whose said... cell phone? His. His, uh -huh. no he. One more time. Okay. Oh, and also, transition, what is the past of that? Hmm. I don't remember diet. Oh. If the verb ends in a vowel, yeah. you don't pronounce another vowel. Okay, diet. Again, listen to yourself because you are pronouncing two vowels. Di, I is a vowel, and E is a vowel. So diet, two extra vowels, two different vowels. Remove okay. e, eliminate e. Okay. Yes, yes. Complete idea. What happened to his phone? Uh, and his cell phone died. Much better. And his cell phone died. That's correct. Good. The next one. Rocks. Letter, letter A. Letter A. Yes, I, teacher, I oh, think sorry. I send it my incorrect answer. Yeah, because you said B. Yes, the, yes, yes, but, but it's letter A. All right, all right, no problem. What do you remember? Uh, I remember uh, the girl uh, mentioned. Uh, that she and his friend are was cooking. She and his her his friend. friend no? Ah, sorry, yes, and her friend was cooking, and she, she and her friend. Ah, sorry, are cooking. In past was were in cooking. Ah, so ah, she it. and her friends were cooking. Uh -huh. And she got bored. Uh -huh. She got bored. Very good. Pronunciation. She got? Got bored. 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 Uh, it's with Burnt. 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 Uh -huh. Get, this is got a... bored. Burnt. Correct. Okay. She got bored. Uh, pretty badly. Pretty badly. Excellent comprehension of vocabulary. Girls, take a note. 
pretty badly. This is an adverb that we use to say, similar to say really, really hurt. Gut burns pretty badly. This is a very useful adverb to decorate when you are giving excuses. You understand this? Yes, teacher. Very good. Let me just remove this. And here we go. Hurt pretty badly. Got burned pretty badly, really hurt by five. Excellent, Rox. Help me with that transcription. Attention. That's weird. There isn't you. I know. Severe. Traffic was complete. Two. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. But it's due today. I know. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. Action. Mm, I have to apologize. Mm -hmm. He mentioned something like I couldn't. I I I don't know class project class something like that. Ah, uh, paraphrases. She she never said I couldn't. Watch out! Listen again. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. Action. I wasn't. Yes, I wasn't what? Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. I don't understand. Some project classes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finish. Eliminate classes. She never said classes. Final repetition. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. I wasn't able finish uh -huh. mm -hmm. my last my last you have the word but in the in the incorrect position so we need to we need to receive help definitely the first thing that I want you to notice, Rox, is the new or the vocabulary I need you to implement in your speech is wasn't able to instead of couldn't. It's, very, it's a little different to say couldn't versus wasn't able to. When it's I like said, it's, it's like would I wouldn't able to or I will able to. No, that's incomplete because you say I wouldn't be able to. And okay. I was I, I couldn't or I won't or will be able to. In the two examples you gave me, it's incomplete because you need a verb. You are forgetting the verb be. Okay. Uh-huh. So 
the thing is, couldn't versus wasn't able to. Both talk about abilities in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. so you need to identify the difference between couldn't and be able to. When I was able to, I had the intention. And then I did. I had the intention. I had the intention to do something difficult, for example. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When I say couldn't, it was there was no intention involved. It's more like I didn't have time. I maybe didn't have the money or didn't have the ability, you know? So couldn't has no intention. Was enable has intention. Do you see the difference? Okay. Both in Spanish mean the same. That's the reason it's confusing. Mm -hmm. But in English have very different meanings. Uh, but is I couldn't and or versus I wasn't be able to. No, no, no. Wasn't is the verb be. Okay, yes. So you cannot say wasn't be. I wasn't able to, sorry. Aha, uh -huh. exactly, exactly, exactly. And then this wasn't able, you can conjugate in different times. Mm -hmm. I wasn't able, I won't be able, I would be able. Mm -hmm. I am be able. No, I am able, sorry. I am able, but you need to consider the conjugation of the verb be. Am, is, are, was, were. Always. Okay, teacher. Okay. So I was unable to finish. To finish what help us complete the sentence? Yes, see. I will I listen again? Sure. Please. Hey, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. But it's due today. I know. I feel terrible about it. What happened? Uh, my... I wasn't able to finish my half, mm -hmm. my half part of the project. Mm. Of the project. Mm. I only when? wrote that. Do they wrote that? Listen again my half of our class project last night last night exactly you know last night did you hear yes and Rox Rox you said the word glass and you were right it is a word glass but where did you did you hear that Yes, teacher. Where was the word class? You were right, eh? I was wrong. Where is it? Oh, maybe... I don't remember, teacher. All right, listen again. Well, yes, he is going to help you, okay? So, yes, we heard the word class. Tell me where. Class? Ready? No. Glass. Do you know uh, what I mean? Yes. C-L-A-S-S. -S. Uh -huh. mm. Glass. In 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 20? 2 minutes. Ah. Mm -hmm. Listen to it. 2. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. 
I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. My helper. My helper. Yes, uh, between fighting part. Or... Actually, let me let me give you an extra task. One word is extra. One word is not in the audio. So mm. remove one word and include the word class. Ready? My half class. Listen. Listen. Half class. What is the meaning of half class? No, no. It's not. It, it doesn't have sense. It doesn't make. It doesn't make? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Listen again. Apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. My half of class? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. In order to help you exercise for the next level, correct all the part that is in color red. The part that is in color red is the noun. All the group, all the, the group of words is a single concept. Correct. So thank you, Jesse. Karen is going to help you. All right. Karen, listen again. Hi, Kylie. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. I wasn't able to finish my half about the last about the project last night she never said about <laughs> no. never you are inventing yes mm -hmm. yes final repetition yes but it's due today hi mike hi kylie what's wrong i have to apologize I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. Chen. No. Sorry, teacher. I just understand my half project last time. Oh, but she never said time. She said night. Sorry, yes, uh, last, last night. Last I night. I was able to finish my, my half project last night. Oof, Picture. we have an issue. Rox. Maybe of the project class? Last Close. Mm -hmm. Close, but it's in Spanish. <laughs> the position of words is uh, class, so important in English. Class project. Class project. So we need to remove this one. We need to remove this one. And we need to remove this one. If you hear... Mm -hmm. He never said part because half is a part, so this is redundant. Again, is Spanish analysis blocking our our comprehension? Do you agree? I I could uh, listen a word mm -hmm. in that position, but I can. Understand. Actually, you're close. There is no word there. It's after. Listen again, Rox. What's wrong? I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. Do you see it? That. Of the it's last not our, project. our class project. Ta -da! Karen, 
Got it. It is our class project. Listen again, girls. I have to apologize. I wasn't able to finish my half of our class project last night. Yes or no? Yes. yes. There you go. So switch to Spanish. Vamos a hablar de por qué estamos metiendo la palabra part. Cuéntenme. ¿Están de acuerdo que en ningún momento dijo part? Right? Y before. When, when she said cal. Ah, cuando en... dice cal, a lo mejor como que queremos decir la, mi part, mi mitad que me tocó, mi parte mitad. La parte que me tocó. Right? Que son que son expresiones que ya tenemos en nuestra mente. O sea, ya las decimos en español tan naturalmente que nuestro subconsciente las está pasando al inglés al momento de, de comprender cosas. Entonces estamos completando hoyos con, con palabras que ya tenemos en nosotros dentro y no con palabras que estemos escuchando. Esto es uno de los errores más comunes que existen en el listening. Y yo estaba leyendo, por ejemplo, en la guía oficial del TOEFL, vienen, el TOEFL es un examen que viene con, con lecturas, por ejemplo, de biología y de geografía y de matemáticas, porque es un examen para probarte si puedes estudiar una carrera o un curso en Estados Unidos o en, alguna, en, algún, en algún país de habla, de habla inglesa, ¿sí? Por eso recomiendan TOEFL para trabajos y escuelas, si quieres cambiar de escuela. Una de las reglas que te dice, o una de las recomendaciones que viene en la, en la guía oficial, literal, te dice, si tú eres doctor y ya tienes información sobre medicina, es probable que tu mente vaya a llenar el, 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 la opción con la información que tú sabes, en vez de que sea la información que dice el audio. ¿Sabes? O sea, tu mente te está completando con lo que tú ya sabes y no estás dejando que pasen las palabras nuevas dentro de tu oído. O sea, en vez de usar tu oído, estás usando tu mente, estás usando la información que ya tenías anteriormente. ¿Right? Okay. Sí. Entonces, te vienen, en, en, la, en el ejemplo del doctor, la clase que te ponen, el audio, te dice, no sé, el, la, el aumento de, de, de volumen de... No, mi teoría es que el aumento de volumen de, de este, musculatura depende de la cantidad de repeticiones que hagas en el gimnasio. Y entonces un médico va a decir, ok, la cantidad de, 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 de músculo va a depender de los nutrientes y todo lo que consuma. Las opciones del examen dicen dos. Uno dice, depende de las repeticiones, y la B dice, depende de, la, de los nutrientes que consumas. Si tú eres médico o tú eres entrenador y le sabes un poco al fitness, te vas a ir por la B. Pero depende de, de la forma en la que suene la palabra o no. Es que o es eso. Solo, solo si yo no lo tengo identificado, va, mi cerebro mete, es esto seguramente, aunque no sea. Exacto, es eso. Mm, ok. Como no lo tienes identificado o simplemente lo tienes identificado y hay palabras que ya conoces, pero tú te quedas y usas la información que ya tienes en vez de escuchar, en vez de usar tu oído. ¿Sabes? O sea, es un, un, una distracción natural que hacemos como un método de defensa. Cuando no, no estamos usando la habilidad correcta, nos vamos directamente a la haya de estar diciendo esto. ¿Right? En el idioma es exactamente lo mismo. Estamos hablando de proyectos, parte del proyecto. Y entonces en mi mente la oración es mi parte del proyecto. Y entonces bajo la palabra part. Cuando nunca, nunca dijeron part. Right? Eso puede generar confusiones en el listen. Es ahí en donde viene la dificultad del listen. You know? Por eso insisto tanto en el transcription. El transcript no es, no es nada más por, por pedirles palabra por palabra, sino 
para que vean cómo se está construyendo la oración, como lo dijo el, el, la, la persona nativa, para que ustedes no se confundan cuando tengan que hablarlo, para que no se confundan cuando vengan detalles importantes en el audio, ¿saben? Como es, por, es para evitar confusiones, básicamente, el, el transcript. I know, right? Yes. I know. <risa> Sí. Entonces lo que le digo mucho a los alumnos es confía en tu oído. Deja, deja, déjate llevar por tu oído, no por lo que lo, lo porque por lo que hayas parafraseado, ¿sabes? Tus propias palabras te van a servir para leer, no para escuchar. Esa es otra habilidad distinta. Got it? All right. Yes. All right, girls. So let's continue. We go on. I have to apologize. I wasn't able to. This is the words I need you to copy. Control. That's it. Number three. Trust your ears. Jessica's more. You said letter A, no? Yes, in the in the three letter A. All right. What do you remember? Um, the girl asked her ask him why uh, he didn't come to the to the party. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And he he replied that uh, he lost the duration and the address. Watch out. Her her address, yes, her address, and didn't have phone to use the GPS. I don't know. Okay. Honestly, I don't remember about the phone, but I think about the address. Yeah, let's listen again. What happened? My roommate burned her hand while she was cooking last night, and I we were okay. It burned pretty. Bad. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Really? But I gave you directions. Well, I wrote the directions down wrong. Well, why didn't you call or use the GPS on your phone? Uh, I didn't have my cell phone with me. That's strange. You always carry your cell phone with you. Four. Good. Okay, what's the difference between directions and address? Because this time, you girls, you are correct. It's directions. But what is the difference? Directions is the move, the move that you have to do. The moves, I like that. The move that you have uh -huh. to do. So it's like. And the address is the ubication, maybe. Ubication, location. Uh, location. No ubication. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. But, okay, okay, good intention anyway. Yes, 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 yes. It is, I like the last, the, the, the two differences. The moves. Go straight for two blocks and then move right, move left, go, continue the line until you see a hospital, turn right at the hospital, and there you see my house. These are directions. With this, not direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because in español es dirección. Right? Es, tenemos que identificar técnicamente lo que estoy tratando de decir es dirección versus direcciones. Right? Dirección es address. Calzada de la pantalla número 324. Right? Directions, go straight, make a left, turn right, go back, etc. 
Got it? Yes, got it. Very good. The transcription, yes. Phone. Uh, really? But I gave you direct there. Uh, three. Hey, Ken. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Action. Um, I get lost. I I get lost. Alex's house. Uh, I tried to find. Uh, that's too much. Too much information. The apology goes before that. Listen again. Why didn't you come to Alex's party last night? We were all expecting to see you there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. About that. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. I get lost trying yes. to find Alex's house. Yes. Do you get lost every day? Mm, I got lost. Exactly. I got lost trying to find Alex's house. I got lost. Uh -huh. I got to lost trying to find. Mm -hmm. Alex. What house? This house. Aha. Alex's. Yes or no? Alex's house. Aha. Uh -huh. Because only Alex is a name. Uh -huh. So Alex says you are adding. Alex's house. Possessive. Let's go. Let's go. That's correct. All right. Question, girls. Anyone else? I got, I have a question, teacher. I got Good. lost trying. It's like an expression because it's for conjugation for I got lost trying and it's not used. For example, the connector to I got to lost. No. <laughs> okay. The rig. Yeah. Mm, I... The connector to is a connector for? Two verbs. Two verbs. Lost is not a verb. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. There is a group of verbs called linking verbs. Okay. And I think we saw them. So let me search. Linking verbs. Uh -huh. Linking verbs. Let's read this, Karen. Okay, linking verbs. B plus other verbs that we can use for adjectives. Okay. Do you understand? The... Uh -huh. Yes. B plus other verbs that we can use for adjectives. Okay. Lost, it's like a adjectives in this example. Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Here you have get uh, for transitions and transformations. Get. get. Okay. Okay, I get teacher. Old. Every get day old. I get older and older. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Yes, I got it. Interesting. Yeah, Not lost. Good. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I got lost trying to find Alexa's house. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much it. Girls, did you catch any important information today? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Yep. Well, we are going to continue talking about this tomorrow on task two. Right? We finished for today. Have a very good night. 
Good night. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye, girls. Bye. See you.